Mark, points-wise, Alexei had his best game of the season, but there's some fans out there probably saying you played too well tonight. How do you view tonight's outcome? I mean, I'm happy for our guys, especially the guys that finished the game. Um, you know, obviously Poku, you know, to think about where he was at the beginning of the season um, and then the way he played now is like a, a true tangible uh, example of a player developing. He played a lot of minutes tonight, obviously handled the ball. He played the point for almost the entire second half. Uh, Moses Brown, you know, has had productive games before, but uh, was in his coverages and stuff like that. And then, like, Josh Hall, like, it's hard to, you know, the guy was hurt the entire season, you know, and it's his first year as a pro. He's on a two-way contract. Uh, and, you know, it's a pretty unstable existence when you're an undrafted rookie and then you're you know injured all season so for him to go out there tonight and play the way he did um is just a really really cool thing for you know that guy and again uh is a credit to all the work that he's put in kind of on the margins without a lot of game minutes and so um i'm really happy for those guys and our players collectively we've for the entire year remained consistent despite the outcomes of the games um, and, you know, they were all pulling for each other tonight, and those guys went out and played. So I give them a lot of credit, and I'm happy for them. Thanks. Here's Lawson with OKCThunder.com. Hey, Coach, along those lines, you talk so much about wanting to finish strong and sprint through the finish line. Just how much pride did you take in the group for the energy that they brought from the jump and then can carry it out throughout the game? Yeah, I mean, really good energy, you know, and a lot of them played a lot of minutes, obviously. We wanted to, you know, give those guys one last run, um, you know, and again, I give them a lot of credit. They grinded through the fatigue of the game, uh, and they played really well. They played together on both ends of the floor. Uh, we shared the ball. You know, we found good shots. We executed, um, and, you know, like I said, I thought tonight was a good example of, you know, kind of the developmental trajectory of a lot of our players. You know, these are things that guys probably weren't going to be – doing in the early parts of the season but you put one foot in front of the other throughout the year you weather the ups and downs and stay consistent uh, and you get better and I thought tonight was an example of evidence that our guys have gotten better thank you Bunner, with the Oklahoma Mark you you talked about Poku a little bit of point guard but what did you like and what did you not like what was your kind of your evaluation of him at point guard the way he ran the offense I was pretty impressed with, um, you know, his ability to get us organized, you know, for someone that doesn't play the position. Um, you know, he came in the first half. I kind of let him call the game a little bit just to see how he'd handle that. And I thought he did a great job. Um, and then, you know, the one thing, you know, in terms of not liking, you know, it's really not not liking it. But uh, when he gets pressured, I mean, he's seven feet, you know, and he's got these guards like climbing underneath him. Um, you know, and that's just evidence that, you know, he's an underdeveloped body. I mean, he's the youngest player in the NBA. And so. Um, you know, that should be, you know, pretty good fuel going into the off season. You know, it's a huge, huge off season for him in terms of his body, you know, year one to year two, uh, there's a lot of gains to be made. Uh, and if he really improves his body this summer and stacks that on top of the experience that, uh, he got this season, then when he walks back in the door next year, there's a lot to be optimistic about. And so, um, you know, I thought he did a great job within the circumstances, the stuff that he didn't do great is all stuff that he can improve on and that we've been trying to improve on all year and you know now he's got to step into a really really important summer for himself thanks mark yep nick gallo with thunder broadcasting mark josh hall talked to us about just utilizing all of the resources within the the organization on and off the floor mentally uh, over the course of time that he's been hurt this season and, and not gotten a lot of opportunities what what stood out to you about the way that he approached that and the way that he really tried to to maximize what he could get out of the experience even when he wasn't playing? Well, I mean, I, I referenced this, you know, uh, with Darius Miller, uh, you know, when he returned to the floor, I referenced it with Isaiah Roby, who rehabbed all summer while we were in the bubble. Um, and now, you know, I'll reference it again with Josh, you know, being injured, the stakes are high for these guys and they care so much. This is their life. Uh, and this is their career and their window to be basketball players is not is not wide. You know, you you don't play till you're 45. You know, there's a short, short window of time that you can capitalize on. And when you get injured, it's a deflating experience. Um, but what I'll say is, you know, Josh has done a really good job of getting himself back to the court. It's a good lesson for him 
um, and a good reinforcement of resilience and persistence. And we've got, like I mentioned, Isaiah, I mentioned Darius. Uh, Darius Baisley is another one, you know, got hurt right after All-Star break and, you know, kind of popped out of that injury better than he was before it. Uh, and that's something that we want to have in the air here, that, you know, no matter what the setbacks are, we want to be able to leverage them for forward momentum. And I thought, uh, you know, I give Josh a lot of credit. He's had a tough year. It hasn't been easy uh, going through what he's gone through. And he came out tonight and played really well and gave himself a lot of confidence going into the summer. Harry Trammell with the Oklahoma. Yeah, Mark, been a long season, been a trying season for everybody. Um, we're at the end of it now. How, what are your emotions on just the season being over? And how do you think the guys feel in terms of the season being over right now? Um, I mean, I can't speak for them. Um, but my guess would be, you know, like, it's interesting. I haven't coached forever, um, but I've been around teams and, and been an assistant coach and a head coach before this. Uh, and what's interesting is the further away from the seasons you get, uh, the more, you know, the relationships of the people that you get to go through this experience with are, are of value. Um, and so it was a challenging season because of COVID. It was a challenging season because of how short training camp was. It was a challenging season. You know, the competitive experience is challenging for every team anyways. Um, but, you know, if you bond together and you march through that with a lot of optimism and, and connectedness and chemistry, then it can form, you know, really meaningful relationships and bonds. And I thought this team was a prime example of that this year. We were not deterred by exter external circumstances. We were incredibly consistent. And if you walked in our gym on day one or in our gym yesterday, um, the vibe felt the exact same. It was not tied to outcomes or circumstances, and that's just a credit to the people on the team and the people in the organization uh, and the quality of everybody. And so, you know, my emotions are, are only positive right now, and I'm really optimistic going into the summer. I think a lot of our players have shown a ton of progress. I think everybody on the team has gotten better. Uh, and so it'll be good to take a deep breath and reflect on the year, but then get back to work because, like I said with Poku, you know, then these guys walk back in in the fall. Um, you know, I think we're going to be pretty excited about where they are after having had these experiences and then having a summer of development. Jerry Ramsey with the franchise. Uh, kind of on Barry's level there. Uh, it is the end of the season. We talk about the development of the uh, players all the time, but have you had a chance just to take a breath there and self-evaluate yourself? This is your first year. Did you turn over every stone like you thought you could this year? Did you accomplish a lot of what you wanted to and just your kind of first thoughts of the end of the season? Um, I mean, I, I try to spend the postseason, you know, especially the first few weeks right after the season in reflection and, and looking back on the year and, and the different experiences that I had and try to learn from it. There's certainly a lot of things that I can do better and that our coaching staff can do better and that our organization can do better. You know, we want to continue to develop and progress just like our players. But, um, you know, again, it, for a first year because of the quality of the people that we have, you know, on the team and in the organization, uh, it made it really fulfilling and enjoyable for me. It's always challenging uh, and that's part of competition and we wouldn't have it any other way, but it was enjoyable because of the people and, and the way that everybody worked from our players all the way through our organization. Jerry 